Good morning and welcome to our Easter Tuesday morning reflection and guided meditation for this beautiful day. The sun is shining. It's just an amazing spring morning, but it's bitterly cold. It's good to welcome you. I'm sure you're all feeling frazzled, maybe tired, or maybe still celebrating the Easter festival. Well, this morning, in doing morning prayer, we read a reading from Leslie Brantz's beautiful book, Meditations Now, and the theme for that reading was when believing is seeing. And I got a strong desire in my heart to read it for the thought for today. So let us just for a moment be still and just come into the presence of divine love into the presence of our Father, Mother, God and using our most precious gift from God, free will, let us now invite, invoke and call upon the Spirit of God to speak to our hearts and to ask what is God saying to my heart this Tuesday morning? And as we relax in our quiet space, let's light a candle to signify the presence of the divine and kick off your shoes and allow your bare feet touch sacred earth. And now let us focus on our in-breath. And as we take a nice, deep, non-labored in-breath, we are aware that we are breathing in God's love. And in our out breath, we just release any negativity or blessing to God. Just relax now and be still. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe is a quote from the New Testament Christian Bible, from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 20, verse 29b. Some of us envy Peter and Paul and those other disciples and apostles of the first century church, especially those who saw the risen Christ, who talked to him and who were challenged by him. Had we been in their sandals, we too might have been faithful and courageous, even to the point of martyrdom. But we live in a fractured world. We see so many unsaintly and unsanctified things within us and about us, and bear problems we cannot solve, tragedies we cannot explain, conflicts we cannot handle, solve. And we become tremulous Thomases who pine for more tangible evidences of divine power. That power which was supposed to have been made available through the resurrection of Jesus and the indwelling of the Spirit of God. As with Thomas, our cry is often, if I could see, I would believe. And the response of Christ is always, if you would believe, you would soon see. Blessed are those who have not seen me and yet believe. Along with the New Testament proclamations of God's loving and saving grace is offered the faith to embrace that grace. It begins when we really believe, when we stop talking about God and walk right into his invisible presence to talk to him, throwing our full weight upon him, plunging into the ocean of his forgiving and sustaining grace and love. We may not feel anything very significant or see miracles take place before our eyes, 
but there will eventually come, in our response to believing and obeying, a sense of added strength, new insights, increased courage, and the dawning realization we are in touch with divine power, the same power that raised Jesus from the dead, the kind that will make a real difference in our lives today. I cannot see you or touch you, O Lord, but I pray that you will lead me into the intimate, risk-filled depths of an authentic relationship with you so that you may truly be in me and through me. Amen. So let us now invite the Christ to come to us. And no sooner have we invited Christ to come, he's there. In all his glory, in his radiant love, and he's smiling. And we can see him, and we can look at his hands and see the marks of the nails. And on his forehead we can see the marks of the crown of thorns, but we are seeing not the crucified Christ, we are seeing the risen Christ in all his wonder and splendor. And he's looking at you, and you sense that he's going to ask you something that is relevant for your journey to God, with God, for God. And now he takes his two hands and places one on each of your shoulders and he says to you, do you love me? You seem perplexed. Do I love Christ? And she looks at you again and says, Do you really love me? Or are you waiting for proof that this is me? I have risen from the dead. And I ask you today, to arise from your slumber, your doubts, your fears, your anger, your many unresolved conflicts and even unforgiveness, I ask you to arise and reclaim who you are as a beloved of God. These marks in my hands are not tattoos. Nails went through this skin for love of you, and yet many walk away out of fear, brainwashing, unworthiness, or they're so besotted with their own drama that they cannot see beyond their issues. But I look at you today and I ask you again, do you love me? Because if you say yes, you do, then you will name, you will bless, you will release all that separates you from my love. and that you be willing to leave it with me and that together we can begin a new day, a new dawn and a new ministry of learning to love and to be loved and to share that love with my many children who've been ostracized 
by society and even by religious men and women who tell me they love me, but their hearts are closed to the cry of my children who do not meet their agenda. So when I ask you, do you love me? I'm inviting your heart to say, yes, you do, but that you are willing today to start afresh, to let go of your past and give it to me, to let go of your future plans and leave them with me, and to embrace this moment and together we can be the eyes of God, the beating heart of God's love for a world that has lost sight of their true meaning and purpose of why they were created. And if you truly mean what you say, that you do love me, then you are willing now to let go of all resentment, all hatred, all anger, and release them to my care. And I repeat, blessed are they who do not see me and yet believe theirs is the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is yours if you are willing to surrender your heart to love and to trust in my love. To trust in my caring for you. Are you willing to do this? And now Jesus departs and your heart is aflame with love and a realization that you have compromised your divinity in the past, but now you are affirmed to surrender to God and to allow God direct your life today. And we take a deep breath and we say, I am a child of God. I am loved. I am healed. I am restored in the presence of the risen Christ. And I leave you with those words from Christ, not my words, they're the words that came to you from Christ. And he trusts you to do what is right for your highest good. Namaste, Shalom, Inshallah, Pagset Bonam, Om Shanti. Solo di caritas, salam alaikum, peace. Have a beautiful day and remember, Jesus is not just for Christians. Jesus is for everyone.